I am Kalani Jackson and welcome to the Asheville View. Today we're at Lenore Rhines Equity and Diversity Institute and I have with me Michael Dempsey and Aisha Adams. Can you guys please tell me about your roles here? So I'm Aisha Adams. I am the program developer and I'm an entrepreneur here in Asheville. And I'm super excited today to talk about the Lenore Ryan Equity and Diversity Institute, which I developed here with the support of my co-conspirator, Dr. Mike Dempsey. Thank you very much. My name is Michael Dempsey, and I do work here at the Lenore Ryan University in Asheville, and I'm the dean and director. Uh, Aisha has been a very good friend to me for the past couple of years as we've developed this program. So I, too, am very excited to tell you about it, Kalani. Nice. So... First question is, um, where did the inspiration to create this program, where did it stem from? Well, it stemmed from Aisha Adams, who came to me uh, uh, close to two years ago uh, and said, I'd like to talk to you. I've got a great idea. She was introduced to me by our, our good friend, Dr. Joseph Fox, and she said that she had an idea for a training program uh, in the equity realm, and, and that was an interesting concept. I hadn't really thought of a training program along those lines. So I said, well, tell me more. Uh, she broke it down for me. And then we kind of uh, thought about structurally what it might look like. And so uh, it became a certificate program. Nice. Uh, and it has different uh, electives within it. We'll tell you more about that. But so she was the inspiration of the program. And it kind of came, it was already crystallized in her mind when she came to see me, which I really appreciated. It was a great idea. And here we are uh, that many months later talking here on the Asheville View, so good stuff. All right, and Aisha, um, on the website, I see it says, our culturally competent curriculum equips business professionals with strategies, tools, and practices. Is there one strategy or tool that sticks out to you? Yeah, um, the, for me, I think all of the strategies that we talk about are super important, but the first one is just be easy on people and to remember that we're all in community together and that this constant idea that the work is in the conflict, is in that coming back, is in the stick to itness of being in community together. So to me, it's that piece of we're not going to get there in one day. We have to exercise patience, compassion, and respect. Nice. So why should companies invest in the Lenore Rhines Equity Diversity Institute programs? Well, there's lots of reasons for that. Uh, first of all, the American uh, workforce is changing. The demographics of the entire country are changing. Uh, if we want to talk about ethnicity, uh, by the year 40, uh, 40, 2045, excuse me, uh, the Census Bureau is telling us that the country will be uh, minority white. So that's just one piece of that. Of course, there are other equity principles and uh, other groups that... Uh, uh, need to have ec experience equity as well, whether they be LGBTQ, uh, whether they be elderly folks, perhaps uh, people who have disabilities, etc. And so the investing in this program is going to prepare you to mm -hmm. have a, a, a culture in your workplace which will be ready for the workforce that is developing uh, now. We're finding in, uh, in, in higher education that the baby boomers have gotten older there are less young people coming through the ranks. And so uh, there are still workforce gaps in our, in our region and in, and in our country. And so to close those gaps, we need to be working with people that have been marginalized, uh, people from low wealth communities, perhaps people uh, who uh, live in more rural areas, immigrants, etc. So the El Ready program is one way of a company preparing to do its best when working with people from different backgrounds. And when we say di people from different backgrounds, I just want to be clear, diversity, equity, and inclusion is for everybody. And everybody comes with a different background. The challenge is when we all are in that space together, how do we accomplish the mission of our job? How do we do the best work together? So diversity, equity, inclusion is just not for a minority, whoever the minority is in our country. It's for every single person who's coming to work, who wants to be included, who wants to be heard, who deserve equity in the process. Racism is super scary. So in the L Ready program, how do you create a safe space where people can really discuss things that are going on in their workplace, things are, that are going on in their communities? How do you like create that safe space for them? Number one, um, 
the number one thing is we don't record the classes. So you don't have to come back and deal with like that cancel culture or the repetition. What happens in L Ready stays in L Ready. So that's number one. Number two, we have trained professionals who really know how to facilitate safe conversations and build safe classroom environments. And we are a cohort style group. So people are seeing each other over and over again. And then when they leave the program, they're in our equity advocate network where they're really connecting and hopefully working together. So what we're doing is building a community. And so in community, you're going to have a couple of rough conversations, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's about coming back to it, sticking to it, bringing it back together and building a better community. Aisha, the L Ready program is nationally known. How does that feel? You know, it's an amazing feeling when your work is recognized by like national press and things like that. But I think what I'm really most honored about is the response from other educators and the response that we're getting from like SHRM, who certified our classes for human resource management or like this idea of being able to be an entrepreneur and a black woman in the academic mm-hmm. space because we don't have a lot of black women in academia. And so to be in a position where I have ownership in my program and my process is amazing. And I'm honored to be in a relationship with the university who's not just talking the talk, but walking the walk as well. So um, do you want to share a little bit of, about like what our situation looks like? Well, absolutely. I mean, you, you own the intellectual rights to, uh, to, it's your intellectual property, this program. Uh, and we work together to provide you with a, a forum, a place to hold your classes, uh, whether that be online or here in the building, uh, in Montford yeah. Avenue uh, in Asheville. Uh, and also, we help you promote the program. We uh, help with marketing in the strict sense of the word, advertising, that type of thing. But we also have a part-time coordinator who works with the program here at the campus. She's amazing, Nicole Watson, if you're out there, uh, kudos to you. Um, she puts in countless hours on brainstorming with Aisha and I to think about how we can uh, move the program forward, refine the program, etc. So the university supports Aisha's vision in a lot of ways. You know, I always say that if you're not a part of the solution, you're part of the problem. And I think that this is one great way for us to embrace a a real thinker and a real doer uh, in Aisha Adams and and again, her talented team. Uh, This program has started in September. Of course, we've been planning it for a while, but but the classes started last September, September of 2020. We've already served people in five states. Uh, 25 people have earned their equitable leadership certificates through the program. Another 40 or 45 have taken a class or two. So yes, it is growing in its influence. Uh, It feels great. It's a profound honor for Lenore Ryan University to be kind of spearheading this. Uh, This is a practical program. It touches on the past, of course, but it's really about the future. And education uh, typically should always be about the future. What's going to happen tomorrow? How are we going to prepare our country, our state, our city, for what's coming next. LREADY is a piece of that puzzle. And so for a university, it's a joy to have uh, an administrator and an educator like Aisha Adams come on board and her team. If you haven't been to lr.edu slash LREADY, go look at the instructors who are in this program. An amazing bunch of people, 120, I think, years plus years of uh, training uh, background among collectively among them. So the program has a lot of integrity, and that's another thing that uh, feels very good for, for our university, that not only is it uh, a powerful idea and an effective program, but it's backed up by some great talent. And so a uh, big thanks to, to Aisha, of course, for, for bringing it to our, into, our, into our universe. Recently, I attended a folding chair session, and it was an awesome, awesome experience for myself. And I actually told a lot of people in the community that they should definitely check into the folding chair sessions. But where did the idea stem from, and why is it so dear to you? Well, it's a great event, the folding chair session, for those uh, people out there in, uh, in video land. It's a free session. It's a free session, and anyone from the community can come. But it also doubles as a culminating experience for the people who are getting their certificates in equitable leadership. Aisha is very, very savvy at getting what I would call star talent 
to come to these things. Uh, Dr. Olivia. Dr. Olivia at from, the University that's, of Alabama with the history of trap music. Yes, that's a great example. It was example. an awesome tool. Yeah. Like it was so powerful. And she uh, on Sunday, this Sunday, we're going to have a uh, a nationally known, award winning journalist who's going to talk about pay gaps and how they have affected women of color in our country. And I think that's you know these types of these are real issues. So it's a forum where people can talk openly about deep issues. In a, in, a, in a fun environment. We have a good time in these things, but we get into some things that are, uh, that kind of, they, they pull away the veil for yeah. a lot of people who, who don't really think about these things on a daily basis. So that's one thing. And again, being a culminating experience for the people who are in our program, it kind of gives them uh, the ability to help grow what we call the advocacy network. You know, these equity advocacy network, these people are becoming teammates in a way. Mm -hmm. And so they will leave the program and be able to pick up the phone, drop an email, what have you, to talk about the problems that they may have at work and how to solve them collectively. And so that's the grand vision, I think, of, of what we're doing. Yeah, I think it's important to know that our relationship started with um, the folding chair. So we had live versions of the folding chair before the pandemic, before this program ever started right here. And Lenore Ryan was a sponsor of the folding chair session from the inception of the program. So it has always been about ne um, equitable networking. When we decided to do the program, I moved it over because it was already a part of what we were doing here at Lenore Ryan. Oh, wow. People were already showing up and saying, we got to have more networking. We got to get together more. We have to be in community more. So I thought like, what better way to end this certificate? Because when we talk about the difference between academia and everyday life, it's like theory versus reality. So what happens when the theory and the reality clash, you get the folding chair session. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for being here today on the Asheville View and you guys continue to check in with us.